What is up, YouTube fellow gamers? So today I come to you with good news. Um, X Resolver, Octosniff Zero, Gamers, Microsoft, Xbox One. Why do I say this? Well, Xbox came out with a system update, um, and that system update had an update with Party Chat, and now Party Chat is hosted through a server, just like the, the, the mobile Party Chat used to host through a server, just like on your phones, um, if you run the Xbox app on your phone. All right, um, so now, those services will no longer be able to sniff your IP address through Party Chat, or a friends list, uh, like you're in a party, and you have an Octo member that's on your friends list, and they sniff your IP while not even being in the party, that won't work anymore either. However, there are some games that are still peer-to-peer, -peer, therefore your IP address can still be sniffed in those games. But overall, this is good for the gaming community, as we all know, the majority of IP sniffing has been done through Party Chat. So I'm back, I've, I've been out of the loop for a little while here, I've, uh, the whole month of October I was hunting, I got a three point buck, um, so that's good, I got like 138 pounds of meat, um, in total, so it's gonna be pretty nice here pretty soon once they're, once they're done, uh, chopping it up and whatnot, making jerky too, so it's gonna be pretty tasty. I, and also the month of September, I was also busy on the month of September. So I've been I've been busy. So sorry about that. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to give an update to X Resolver and um, Xbox because Xbox has now rolled out that update. Okay, so that will stop the majority of booting and whatnot. Now, if you do have a static IP address, that does not mean uh, that your IP address isn't on X Resolver anymore. Okay, all. That this update is doing is preventing your IP from being sniffed in a party chat okay so that is the only thing that this is doing but that is the majority of sniffing so that's gonna alleviate a lot of the booting problem on the Xbox platform right now I don't know if PlayStation uh, has implemented a server based party chat yet but um, I'm happy that Xbox has resolved this problem. Finally. It only took them a couple years. <clears throat> Alright, so, if you have a static IP address, your IP address is still going to be on X Resolver, and X Resolver is still operational, and you can still buy the Octosniff product, uh, which, by the way, Fiddler Script and Octosniff are the same thing. Uh, they both do the same exact thing. Um, Fiddler Script is free. Octosniff is not. So, which one would you want to download? Probably Fiddler Script. But uh, I'm not going to make a video on Fiddler Script. Um, all I'm going to say is this. I have personally tested the new party chat system and I've tried pulling friends' IP addresses in the party. Um, and I can't. I just get a server IP address in California. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, I've tried, I've tried Wireshark, I've tried Lance, and I've tried Fiddler Script. None of those services work for pulling the IP address. So, um, through a party. So, this is, this is great news. I am pretty, like, I'm actually really happy about this. Uh, my, my friend has a static IP address. Uh, fortunately, he was able to remove it from X Resolver's website. However, um, I have seen some comments in my comment section that uh, they're unable to remove their IP address. So, if you have a static IP address, I do have a static IP address at my place of work, where I work. Uh, it's a Comcast uh, business IP address. And I may go in there and fiddle with some things and see if I can get the IP address changed over. And if I can get the IP address changed, then I will make a video on it, okay? And then this will effectively allow you to change your IP address if you have a static IP address for free um, without calling your internet service provider and it will change your IP address. Now, this is just, these are some ideas that I've had going on in the back of my head on how to change a static IP address uh, without your ISP involved and all that fun stuff. Anyways, I may or may not make a video on that, but uh, 
If you guys want to know if you have a dynamic IP address or static IP address, check this video out up here. It will tell you. Uh, you'll just have to skip forward. Uh, that video is also about X Resolver. There's a lot of things that I covered in that video, actually. So, um, yeah, check it out if you haven't already. So, as you can see, X Resolver is still operational. So, the odds of your IP address still being on there, if you have a static IP address, are high. So, yeah. Now, if y'all want to learn how to... Let's just let's if you if you've ever wondered how to get a uh, IP address from a website, all you gotta do is go here, type cmd, get get your command prompt open, and then type in t r a c e trace r t trace root space, uh, and then type in the uh, website's domain name, which in this case is uh, xresolver. But we'll just we'll just do www w oops that's four w's w dot xresolver.com then we'll type that in and that'll tell us the ip address to the website and it should be this ip address but um you want to wait for this to trace all the steps and hops and whatever until it gets to the ending ip address and it should match this one here so 104.24.113.44 is Xresolver's website's IP address. Anyways, so sometimes this takes a while to do this, so I'm just gonna actually exit out of this because I really don't give a shit. Um, but yeah, so that's how you pull a website's IP address. Which, by the way, is public information, as it says here. Public IPv4 address. Every website you visit will automatically log your IP address. There is no federal law restricting giving a public IPv4 out. So this this Scott Freezy guy, he used to be sponsored by OctoSniff, and um, I don't know. I guess he started talking poorly about OctoSniff on Twitter because he realized that uh, X Resolver and OctoSniff were the same thing, and so he started talking about it on Twitter, and then it turned into a Twitter beef, and then the Octo CEO uh, DDoSed him, uh, he booted him offline, supposedly, and then also um, doxed him. Uh, so, you know, his address, email addresses, etc. got doxed, so. Anyways, he, if you go to his channel, he's got a video of him being doxed, so. Yeah, they sent pizzas to us house and everything to verify the address. Now, I didn't see this, but basically they put his name at the top of the link to a docs bin um, with all of his personal information there. So, yeah. Um, I guess that there's, if you go and watch those videos, there's some proof in there that uh, what I was saying about my theory of X Resolver and OctoSniff being true is probably true. Um, but yeah, that's going to do it for uh, this video. I hope everybody has a good one and happy gaming. Peace out.